Good evening, my friends. Welcome, welcome. Come on in and make yourself at home and we will get started. Hi, birthday girl. How are you doing, Carla? Hey, Deb. Good to see you. Good to see everyone. Oh, I didn't mute myself. Oh, good to see you, Diane, Nancy, Diana. Good to see everybody. Welcome to hopefully something that will bring you joy this evening. <laughs> Better than TV right now. Hey, everybody. Oh, my goodness. All my friends are coming over. Love it. So happy to see your names popping up. Um, we are going to start in just a couple seconds. I wanted to, um, show you a couple things before we start. Oh, yay, Diana, you're a rock star. Good job. Hi, Julie. Good to see you. Thank you for sharing, Deb. Appreciate that. Anybody who shares, pre appreciate it. All right. So, um, I have a couple of things today is the deadline for, so I want to make sure to tell you because... Sometimes I forget. Shocker, I know. <laughs> so today's the last day for the May uh, Stampin' Anonymous tutorial bundle. Um, this one, after today, goes away, and tomorrow we start a brand new bundle. It's already out. I think that one's about 22 pages of fabulousness. Um, but this one, again, all those who ordered this month are going to get this in their, their uh, inbox, and for... Anyone who would like to order it separately, it's $9.99, and you can just message me, and I will be happy to help you with that, okay? So, this one goes away after midnight tonight. <clears throat> and then, let's see. Oh, Super Saturday. So, my friend Marsha and I are doing a virtual Super Saturday. Super Saturday has been something we've done several times, um, and this time we are offering... Uh, four different sessions and you can choose one, two, or all four, whatever you'd like. Um, but you're going to get whichever ones you sign up for, you will get kits for those projects with the, um, whichever option you choose for each of the sessions. So let's say for instance, the Celebrate Sunflowers. So that's got four projects and then you can get the projects, parts and pieces for 15 projects with Celebrate Sunflower Stamp Set for 39 or the projects with the bundle for 66 So you can see Marsha and I are building off of each of those four sets, and the four are Celebrate Sunflowers, Pampered Pets, one of my favorites, Happiest of Birthdays, and Beautiful World. So check that out because we are going to have a fabulous time. There will be door prizes. It's going to be a great, great time. Hey, Marsha, speak of you. Um, so this info is online also, so don't miss that. And today is also the last day to sign up for the Designer Paper Share Choose Your Adventures. So if you haven't checked this out yet, you're going to want to do that right after this video because it's going to um, go through tonight at midnight. But there are three different options on that for you to choose from also, and you'll get a little bit of each of the new Designer Series papers in the brand new catalog. Speaking of which... The fabulous brand new catalog goes live on Wednesday. Oh, I can't wait. For those of you who already have it, you know what I mean when I say it's just a beautiful, beautiful catalog. It's just so many gorgeous images. It's just really going to be one I think that will inspire so many people with so many projects. Um, if you don't have a copy, let me know. I'd be happy to get one out to you. If you don't have a demonstrator, I'd be happy to, to um, send you one. Just let me know. But again, it's really great, and it will be going live on Wednesday, on Brittany's birthday. <laughs> All right, so tonight we are going to make a really fun project. Hi, ladies. Good to see you. Linda and Millie popped in there when I wasn't looking. Um, we're going to be making a really fun notepad holder and pen set. Now, this one 
is it, it, I tweaked this one. I actually tweaked it again today and made it again. Um, but this one is going to feature the Forever Fern stamp set and the Forever Greenery designer series paper. So I know we've I've used this one already, so you've kind of gotten a peek at it, but it is a beautiful set of designer series papers. And we are going to make this really fun a little notepad holder. And I tweaked the way I did it this time. So you can just untie your ribbon and then this pulls out of this little loop there with a little notepad on the inside like that. Isn't that fun? I stamped the top sheet just for a little, little fun. So the way this works is your ribbon is going to just go right back through that little hole there and I'll show you how I did the little little bling there on there for a little little sparkle um, or a little shimmer I guess so we are going to go through that and we're gonna make a pen to go with it that coordinates so that's really fun one of the things I love making and these are terrific if you do craft fairs or you're doing a bunch of um, you know teacher gifts or gifts for your book club or people at church or whatever it is it's really really a fun project so first I'm going to show you how to do the pen so we'll complete this one little set and for those of you who share tonight I will be sending um, one of these stationary sets to the winner so be sure to uh, if you share I'll be sure to see your name on there so we're going to use one of my favorite types of pens this is an RSVP pen by Pentel you can get them just about anywhere even the grocery store I think um, but RSVP pens just they write really well and I'll tell you I am a pen snob I love a good pen and the way it flows so especially now that I'm working on learning hand lettering <laughs> so um, this RSVP pen for any of them. I know Brittany actually makes these now and, and gives them to her clients when she's uh, delivering their photos and things. She does a little gift package for them. And this is one of the things that she pep pops in there and they love it. All right, so to do your pen, you're gonna need a piece of coordinating designer series paper. Now I just chose the opposite side of that paper, which is this beautiful um, stripe, really, really pretty watercolory lines on there. Let me move our notepad over. And this one should measure, oh, it does, three and a quarter by seven eighths of an inch. Okay, really simple. Now, I use seven eighths of an inch, but if you get, when you're working on yours, if you find that it's a little too bulky, you can always cut it down a little bit. But let me show you how I, I go about doing it. I just grab a pencil and I, I don't really want one that has the, like the sharp edges, you know, the square sides on it. I don't know where my other one went, but. You know, like a, oh here, like a regular pencil, like this one that has more of those flat edges. I don't really like using those. I like using a round one better. So I'm going to take my forgot. I'm going to take my designer series paper and I'm going to take just a little bit of Stampin' Mist. Something about Stampin' Mist, love it. Um, this is what we use to clean our stamps with. But I'm going to give it a couple of little squirts just to give it. A little bit of play in there like that I'll do the other side too if I can hold on to it and this will just break up those fibers in there give them a little more um, it'll make them more pliable so we're going to take our piece lay it down now I want to use the stripe side out so I'll put my pencil on there got to get my hand around it sorry and then I'm just going to roll it kind of break the fibers down so roll it roll it like that and then once I've done that see it's kind of already started to curl I'm just gonna take it and roll it a little bit tighter and it doesn't have to be perfectly rolled by any means because that the barrel of the pen is kind of um, oh what's the word I can't think of the word but it kind of you don't see completely through the flat image. You can see it's got a, a pattern in there. So I'm gonna take off the bottom end, unscrew that with the um, ink part of it and the, the um, tip of it. And I'm gonna take my piece of curled up paper and we're just going to pop 
pop this in here and I like to use the part with the fold make sure that that goes to the back and the part with the pattern is very nice goes right up here uh, where the uh, writing on the outside of the pen is so you can see and sometimes it'll start to unroll a little bit on you where did I put my oh, here it is um, so it'll fill up a little more but you're gonna want to scooch it down in there a little bit more like that all right so see how cool that is that pattern is right in there and we'll just pop this back in screw it on and you have a coordinating pen <laughs> so there's our pen to go with our little notepad all right isn't that fun and this pattern matches the inside of our notepad cover all right so let's get started on the notepad i hope you guys have fun doing that it's so fun Oh, Nancy, it's so, you'll, what you'll do is you'll keep buying more pens because <laughs> cause you just want to keep making more of these guys. So ask me how I know. All right, so I'm going to post your measurement list tonight after, and I, okay, I laid it down here, and then I covered it up. What did I do with it? Oh, I laid my stuff on top of it, apparently. So you're going to get photo of this online and you will see um, down at the bottom are the measurements and up here there's going to be a photo of the, the uh, notebook and the pen and then here are all the supplies I used for the notepad um, itself okay all right so we're going to start our designer series paper it's, again it's going to be that forever greenery paper we're going to use this pattern with that stripe on the back I love that and this piece measures five and a quarter by nine. All right, five and a quarter by nine. Then you are going to want to score it. Scoreboard, and I stuck it back over there. Bring my scoreboard back in, and we are going to score this little guy. And I want to make sure my pattern's going the right way, okay? Because want my front to look good here so my leaves look like they're growing up that's a good thing so we're going to start and we're going to score this piece at three and three fourths four inches seven and three fourths shoot an eight sorry I scooched it up too far didn't I all right let's go over it again three and three fourths and four and then seven and three fourths and eight. All right, that's all you need for that piece. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fold these on my score lines so that I can see where everything is. Let's see if I can feel, there we go. All right, so when I designed it, I made it so that <laughs> Hi, Linda. Jello to you. <laughs> um, I made it so that there's a little one inch tab on this side where it closes. Okay. So I'm going to open it back up. Did I do that the wrong way? Oh, no. It goes this way. <laughs> Just kidding. We're going to do it with our stripe out because I scored it the wrong way with the pattern. That's okay. It'll still coordinate. Like so. Okay, actually that'll be kind of cool if I have a coordinating one. Okay, so note to self, make sure when you do it, you have this little tab on the right-hand side of the side that you want to have closing over, okay? All right, so then after you have that piece, you're going to bring in your triple punch, and we are going to round all of the corners. So let me show you on the inside of this one. See how I rounded all four of these corners. So we're going to go in and do that. So my corner punch, I'm going to go in and punch these guys. This one here. Like so. So there are all four of those corners. Now you're going to want a piece of 
the pretty peacock that's going to fit underneath your notepad right here. And that piece measures three and three fourths, or yeah, three, sorry, I don't wanna make sure I get it right. Three and a quarter by five and a quarter. <laughs> this piece is gonna go right under here and that's just gonna line that center section right there. And it's gonna go around our notepad. Wait, I don't know if this is the right one because I had two of them laying out here. Let me see. Wait, let's see. Do, 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 do. No, I was right. Three and three quarters. That must have been my head right here. Left over. Not the right one. All right, so we need the three and three quarters by five and a quarter. So let's cut one here at five and a quarter. And three and three quarters. And this is going to go behind your notepad. Now the notepads that I got, I usually go and get them at Dollar Tree. And you can get, oh, well, thanks, Rudy. Oh, hey, Deb. So I usually get them at Dollar Tree and they come in sets of five for a dollar. So I have these little lavender ones. And then these, actually they're a blue green color. Um, and then just pull them apart. So just separate them and then where the cardboard is, you're just gonna pull it apart and you have one for your project. Okay, doke, so we'll need one of those. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna adhere my notepad to the um, Pretty Peacock. And you can see when it closes, there's a little wiggle room here on either side there. So you have a little border around your notepad. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some tear and tape on the back here. You know, Roselyn, it does look like it matches, but when I was first looking at it, I'm like, what the heck am I gonna make with it that's blue? And then I put it with the, the uh, designer paper. I was like, well, <laughs> it kind of took on that color by itself. All right, so we're gonna adhere our notepad to this piece of Pretty Peacock. Ready? And like I said, these are great for craft fairs, but honestly, they're great for teacher gifts or book club or church friends, anything. And I like having them in my purse because I'm always looking for something to write on or make myself a note and that kind of thing. And I don't know about you, but I don't always like just typing a note into my phone. I'm an old fashioned kind of girl. I like having it so I can actually make a note. And actually, Lindsay usually is looking for a piece because she likes making me a grocery list. <laughs> you never know what you need from the grocery store until Lindsay tells you because man oh man I can think I need bread and then I end up with a cart full of stuff so at a girl all right so this is going to fit right in between those score lines right there okay so let's go ahead I'm going to use some liquid adhesive on the back oh thank you guys oh hey Ida hey Michelle all right, so we use some liquid glue on the back. Because what comes out Wednesday? The new adhesives. I'm so excited. So we'll take this little guy, and I'm going to fold that up on that score line to give me a little starting spot there. Just tuck it right in there. Make sure it's in there top and bottom. Nice thing about the liquid glue is you do have a little time to wiggle it and make sure you got it where you want it. There we go. All right, there we have it. So this will just fold together like so. Okie doke. Now, I want to go ahead and do this little, it looks like a grommet, but it's not, just um, our champagne foil. <laughs> How fun is that? So I have a couple of scraps of champagne foil because I need needed to do this piece and then I have a little piece that peeks out underneath the sentiment here in the middle okay so we're going to take our scrap of champagne foil I'm going to bring in a quarter inch um, hole punch I'm going to use my crocodile because we don't have a quarter inch punch anymore and what I'll do is go in and punch two of those a little ways apart like that okay 
And then I will bring in my half inch circle punch. If you haven't ordered it, you need to get it because it's going away. <laughs> I use it all the time. So then I'll just bring it in around that quarter inch hole like so. I'm sure I'll tilt it to me so I can see. And just pop it out just like that. Okay, and you're going to do two of them. We can set this one aside. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is do the one on the front. Really would, wouldn't it, Kathy? Again, it, it will again. It will. This would be great for healthcare workers, too. Right? All right, so I'm going to take the one for the front. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. If I can hold it. A little bit of glue. Like so. And I'm just going to pop that here kind of in the middle, up and down and side to side. Like that. And I will bring back my hole punch. And I'm going to go in and punch out. Oh, still have champagne foil in there. Get out of there. I'm going to bring it back in and punch out where that circle is already punched like that and there's the top one pretty fun huh then we'll turn it over and we'll put a little bit of adhesive on the back of the matching one it's a new bottle of Tombow I'm kind of afraid to squeeze it because it's so juicy and then I'm just gonna match up the holes here the hole here in the middle right there okay perfect way to reinforce that um, little hole there to hold our for our ribbon to feed through but it just gives it a little little shimmer there I think that's nice you can always do one that kind of blends in with one of the colors like the pretty peacock or something and even though I, it looks like sometimes you can cloud over that shimmer on there with the glue if you're not careful i just let it dry and then i go back in and just take a little um, q-tip with alcohol and just go around it and it takes it right off so no big deal all right so there's the um basis basic notebook cover so i'm going to build the part that's going to go here on the outside all right so i'm going to bring in some more of my cardstock you will need for this one I have a piece of pretty peacock and this one measures two and a half oops two and a half by four and a quarter the old olive which blends in perfectly right here it's going to be our next layer right here and that measures two and a quarter by four so that guy's going to go here and then the piece we're going to stamp on it measures two by three and three fourths right there okay and then for my little banner here I went ahead and cut out a piece of pretty peacock this measures um, three and a quarter by seven eighths and that's just for our, we're gonna stamp and emboss our little you can do this stamp on there and it's actually a great sentiment that's in the forever fern stamp set here love it you could always do one if you're doing them for your friends to a friend who that makes me smile and it's just just really really sweet set all right so let's set this guy aside we're gonna do some stamping there we go all right so I'm gonna first bring in my um, spray of leaves it's so so pretty and we're gonna use three colors of ink we're gonna be using pretty peacock old olive and soft sea foam all right so I'm going to start with the old olive and the reason I'm going to do that is you can tell on here the old olive is in the background because I'm stamping the darker color over top so the peacock tends to just kind of blend that old olive out that's behind it so don't worry about covering that up because it's just going to be almost you won't notice it once you start you know um, have your completed project it won't you won't really notice it all right so I'm going to bring in my spray of leaves here and this one is one of those stamps the distinctive stamps where it looks like they are shaded so know that when you stamp them they're not completely solid images okay see how let me pull that back see how they 
have that darker color around the edges so you can see the shading and the veining in there. That's what it's supposed to look like, so don't worry. So I'm gonna bring this little guy in and I'm just gonna do just a few random leaves coming in from the sides. And there's no right or wrong way. You can never do it the same way twice, which is the best. <laughs> All right, so that's our old olive. So let's, I mean, yeah, old olive. I don't like saying that because my mom's name is Olive, so you don't want to say, hey, old olive. So she's a cutie patootie. <laughs> All right, so here's our pretty peacock, and we're going to do the, um, I don't know what these are. They kind of look like berries of some sort, but I'm not sure. So we're going to do these in Pretty Peacock. So these uh, these are going to show a little bit more um, vibrantly on there. So I want to make sure when I put them in there that I um, keep them so that they are going to... Sorry, I was stamping and talking at the same time and I was thinking. Never do that. <laughs> um, you want to make sure that when you do them that you're going to have... These you'll notice if it's an odd number or not with the, the green underneath of it, you really won't. So I'm just going to do a little bit more right there. Because if I don't, it'll bug me. And I want to do one over here just for kicks because it looks like it goes with that. All right, good. So most of it's going to get covered up anyway by our sentiment. So we're gonna use some soft sea foam. I love this color and I have not used it nearly enough. And we're gonna use one of my faves. You guys know I love a good, good little um, background stamp. And this one is stinking cute. So we're gonna use that. We're just gonna go in and stamp and fill in some space. Give it a little detail. No wrong way to do it. Okay, there's that. All right. Now we can put these three guys together. And then, let's see, did I bring, oh, I did, got some snail in here. We're gonna put these three guys together and then I will show you how to um, adhere your ribbon so that it ties through that little grommet we made. Like that. And I, you'll notice I'm not using dimensionals on this Kathy Weir. I know you're shocked, Kathy. <laughs> I'm not using dimensionals on this because this is a good one to go in your purse. And I didn't want to make it so that there were a lot of popped up layers that might get snagged on stuff in your purse. Okay. There's that. Alrighty. Now, we're going to put our ribbon on next. So I'm going to bring in my notebook. And the reason I'm doing this is because it's going to be adhered underneath our focal point here. So I'm going to take this um, front here and put a couple little pieces of tear and tape on here because that's what's going to hold that ribbon steady in place under that layer. It was just kind of a double safeguard. I guess because it may get pulled. I knew you would, Kathy. <laughs> All right, now this ribbon, dear Lord, I am not going to be able to keep it in the studio because I'm going to be using it all the time. You guys know I love me a gingham ribbon. Love it, love it. So this gingham actually comes in this Flowers for Every Season combo pack. This is so gorgeous. It comes with this... Um, beautiful faux linen ribbon. Then it has this really pretty silver and misty moonlight baker's twine. And then this just jade gingham. And they're all three in a combo pack and it's $10. Isn't that awesome? So <laughs> I absolutely love it. So that's on page 161 of the new catalog. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. All right. So we will bring in our notebook and I'm going to peel off these two little covers of the tear and tape. This is going to anchor that ribbon for us. Now the ribbon, I cut 24 inches, but you are welcome to change it up however you would like. So this is my 
24 inch piece. I'm going to bring it around to the front like so. And you want to line it up with the hole in the grommet here on the right. And then I'll just give it a little press. And the nice thing about this with tear and tape is you can still pull it up and you're not going to mess up your notebook. So if you don't get it right the first time, never fear. All right, so that's going to go right there. And then we can put on this little focal image here on the front. All right, now you'll notice it's going to go over towards the left-hand side. You can see on the completed one here. It's only about mm, not even a quarter of an inch from the edge over here. And that's because this one inch flap will come in and cover up that right side. So just make sure it's adhered more to the left. I'm going to use, what should I use? I use some glue. Put some glue on here. I just love these. I just making them makes me want to make more because I have so many ideas, especially with all the new colors and things. I can't wait to make it with the um, World of Good Sweet. That one we used on that bag before. Oh my gosh, that was pretty. There's that. Like so, okay. Now I'm not gonna tie it together yet. We're gonna do our label for the front. So like I said, I used a piece of Pretty Peacock and it is seven eighths by three and a quarter. So we're gonna bring in our stamp and we'll bring in a little bit of Versamark ink and some white embossing powder. I feel like I don't emboss nearly as much as I should have, or should, because I love it so much to look at. So here's some white embossing powder. Look, it's totally got leftovers from other stuff in there. Don't ask me how. It it lived a good life at the last retreat. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> because it came home kind of sparkly with other stuff in it. So I'm going to use the You Can Do This and some Versamark Watermark ink. Hey, Kathy. Hi, Margaret. Thank you. I love it, too. I love gingham. That bumblebee gingham. Holy moly. I love that. All right, there is, okay, I forgot to use my embossing buddy. Let's see if this works. If it doesn't, we may have to do it again. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right, see how I have all the little dots of white in there? That will totally melt and be right there. It's not like it's going to go anywhere. So if you have it there, I might be able to fix it though without redoing. If you have it there, you're going to want to get it off before you heat because it will melt right there. That's actually not too bad. Huh. Then we, oops, till I popped it upside down. Bozo. Sit there. So then we're just going to put the rest back in the container. This has got to go on my list of things to order on Wednesday because it needs a new one. And then we'll put the top back on our Versamark. And bring in our heat tool. How did I do that? <sighs> oh. Well, it's not too bad. Okay. Now we're bringing our heat tool. Oh, thanks, Deb. Now, this is one of my favorites from Color Street. It's called Mermaid Something. Or made something, something. Now the white takes a little bit longer to heat, so a lot of times I'll start on the top here, heat it up a little, and then I'll go back to the back side and heat it. Give it a little kick in the pants, and then go back to the front. Ouch. Dag nab it. I cannot walk and chew gum, apparently. Alright, let's heat it. Oh, there we go. Can you see it changing? And this sucker gets hot. There we go. Doo -doo -doo. 
All right. Mermaid Brigade. Thank you, Debbie Colby. I love this set. I get more compliments on the Mermaid. Hey, look, I forgot. This is the pencil that changes when it gets heated up. <laughs> How funny. That's cool. All right. So I left a little more room on this end because you can see I'm doing um, this end. I'm going to cut a little dovetail in and then I'm going to have it flat over on the right hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and trim the little triangle out of this end like so and then I'm going to bring in a little scrap of that champagne foil that is gorgeous like this so this will go together like so I can feel embossing powder on there so I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of here you could use glue dots on here if you wanted to. And I'm just going to bring it so it's pretty flush on the right hand side with just a little piece hanging off the bottom like so. Hey Meg, how are you sweetie? Good to see you. Well, it's not quite even, is it? Let's pop it up again. There we go. Scooch it down right there. Perfect. Now this I did pop up just because I couldn't stand it. I had to pop something up with dimensionals. So this is going to go underneath where your ribbon, you're going to go below that line. I'm going to bring it all the way over here to the left so that it's pretty, pretty flush. So when I bring in my right hand side, you want to measure that before you glue it down to make sure you can still see the whole thing. Okay. So I'm going to put a couple dimensionals on the back of here. And, whoops, bring it all the way over here to the left, like that. Alrighty, and you can see on the, <laughs> you caught me, Kathy, I used dimensionals. Sorry, not sorry. So I'm going to just do a little stamping here on the top one. You can do them on all of them if you'd like, but I just did it for the presentation purposes because I thought it looked really pretty. So we'll bring back in that leaf spray and our old olive stamp set that I set right here. There we go. And you can stamp off if you want so that it's lighter on there. I can't remember if I did. I think I did. Stamp off and then just stamp some leaves on there. Like that. A little piece of glue. And then, <laughs> sorry, sorry, Kathy. I could have done it without them. I really could have made it. I could have done it. And I'm going to bring back in that other stamp that we used with the pretty peacock. Stamp off a little bit and then put those little guys in there too. And it's just a nice little touch on the inside there for when they open. Oh, good, Kathy. I'm glad you like it. All right, so there's that. Now, this little grommet that we made on the right, we're gonna close the front, pull our ribbons around like so. And at first my thought was when I created it, I would bring the back one through and tie it over here. It didn't look as good. So I'm going to do what I finally decided and take the left-hand side and go through like that. And then pull that back one around and bring them over to the side and tie my bow. Oh my gosh, how pretty is that ribbon? Oh, I can't wait till Wednesday. Do you guys have your list? I have a long list for Wednesday's order. Long list. All right, so let's tie our little bow on camera with nobody watching. <laughs> I am alone in the studio. Nobody's watching me do this. I can do it. Ha ha ha. There we go. 
And then just trim the tails. There's that. I know, wouldn't this be great? Just for a, like a random act of kindness even. So there's our pen. I use the same pattern on the pen for this one. It can also go with the other pattern. Love that. So these, again, guys, these are really economical gifts to make. Um, again, you know, doing these for first responders, people, you know, nurses or anybody who would enjoy a little notepad to have to keep with them. Um, these are fabulous for that. Oh, thank you, Jill. Oh, you like the, that better, Carla? Oh, good. Yeah, there's so many choices in that designer paper pack. So many gorgeous choices. There we go. So there you have it. Boom and done. All right. <laughs> I'm so glad you like it. All right. So that is it for this evening. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I'll be back tomorrow night for Make It With Me Monday. Tomorrow night, you're going to need a piece of 12 by 12 designer paper. That's it. 12 by 12 designer paper, one piece. And you will be able to craft with me tomorrow night at eight o'clock for Make It With Me Monday. All right. All right, don't forget the deadlines tonight. The ones that we went through at the beginning, you can go back and check them for the paper share and um, yeah, all the stuff there. Oh, thank you so much. All right, you guys, stay well, stay safe, and God bless. Love you guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. See ya. Bye.